This question comes from the lovely and talented Sanaz. Actually, I've never met her, but I'm just intuiting that she's fantastic. Sanaz says, hey, Crystal, hope you're enjoying your life. And I am. Thank you very much. She goes on to say that I watched your video called How to Eliminate Fear. And if you haven't watched it, you should go to YouTube, type in How to Eliminate Fear, and then Crystal Ann Compton, and then you can watch it because it's awesome. It's powerful. That was spirit right there channeling. It was good. She said, I watched that video and in it, you mention that we are all gods and that we have great power. I agree about that, but I have a question about the effect of the moon and other planets or astrology. Enjoy, Sanaz. So she says that and then she signs off. <laughs> I read that and I'm like, um, okay. You have a question about us being gods and astrology, but she didn't ask the question. So I'm really not sure what you're after here, but the subject matter of you are all gods is important enough that I would like to expound on it. And I will even add some astrology stuff, which I am totally not versed in and I admit it right now, but I'll tell you what my take on astrology happens to be. But yes, you are correct. In my video called How to Eliminate Fear, we talked about how fearlessness happens when we understand exactly who it is that we are. And a lot of us are afraid because we feel that we're weak. A lot of us are afraid because we feel that we're victims or that we're going to be victimized. We're fearful for a lot of reasons. And the fundamental problem is that we are believing a lie about ourselves. We're believing that we're weak. We're believing that we're victims. And that's not at all who we are. There is a fundamental delusion that is happening on this planet insofar as we do not walk around in full occupation of who it is that we actually are. And so it begs the question, who are we? Well, we are the children of the Most High God. We were created in perfection and with absolute intention. In fact, when we were first created as souls, we were created as what we would call our higher selves. Now, when creation was rolled out, it was rolled out in phases. And in the first phase of creation, God created the archangels. And in the second phase of creation, we have some more angels that were created, but we also have the higher selves. So the, the, the you that you are in totality which is the higher self, was created in the second phase of creation, meaning you are extraordinarily proximate in your soul to the creator that brought you into being. And then the higher self, which again is who you are, decided to experience itself by dispatching aspects of itself into various incarnations and experiences through various other phases of creation. And here you are, one of those iterations that was created in one of those phases. And you happen to be incarnated into a dimension that's kind of crazy, I mean, it is a thought form reality, but sometimes it doesn't feel that way because it takes so long for anything to manifest and people seem warlike and people seem hateful. And where is the love? I mean, it's easy, isn't it? To be afraid in this dimension, but the illusion or really the delusion is thinking that this is who you are. This incarnation aspect is the totality of who you are. Uh-uh. <laughs> The totality of who you are is your higher self, powerful, omnipotent, sitting at the right hand of the creator, if you will. That's what Christ meant when he quoted old scripture that said, ye are all gods. Christ said that. And most avatars will tell you that. And what Christ is really saying is you are powerful. There's nothing to fear. You are powerful. You came here to do a powerful thing. You are powerful. You are your higher self. Come on, wake up. That's what he was telling us. And so in that video, that's what I was trying to explain to you. Now, with regard to astrology and us being gods, I really don't know where the connection might be with that. 
What I will say about astrology is that I tend to subscribe to something that Edgar Cayce said. Now, Edgar Cayce is popularly known as the father of holistic medicine. He was also one of the best and brightest psychic mediums America has ever known, and I dare say the world. And somewhere in his various readings, I think what he said was that we came into this incarnation, again, just as aspects, okay, not the higher self. We came into this incarnation in this dimension on this planet after choosing specific coordinates. He didn't use the word coordinates, but that's what I'm thinking. We looked into the constellations, we looked into the stars, we looked into the planets and the houses and the moons and all of the things involved in astrology and we selected a specific lineup that contained a particular quality of energy. And then when we had those coordinates, we passed through the channel which was facilitated by those coordinates. And so by the time we got into this incarnation, we possess the energy of those coordinates, of those planets, of those constellations through which we passed. That's why we have people who are Scorpio who have so much in common with all other Scorpios. Taurians act like Taurians. Cancers act like Cancers. I mean, a lot of that, I gotta say, is hogwash. It's when you get into the mathematical stuff, like the actual alignments, again, those coordinates, when you really get to see, you know, under what alignment you were born at what time that you can truly start to uncover the energies that you absorbed when you came into this life and the themes that are attached to those coordinates and energies. But I don't know anything about astrology. (laughs) All I know is it feels to me like math. Like when you say coordinates, I go to sleep. You know what I mean? When you say numbers with decimals, I'm already confused. I'm, I'm not happy about it. I don't like math. I don't like numbers. I believe in the significance of astrology. And I know that I chose my pathway when I came into this incarnation. And that included planetary alignment, among other things. And I know that I occupy characteristics and attributes and traits that are specific to those coordinates. Do I know why, though? No. Do I know how to figure it out for you? No. That's all I know. How does that correlate to you are all gods? Well, I don't know. Mainly because, Sanaz, you didn't ask a question. So if you'd like to write me again and flesh this out a little bit as to how astrology relates to Christ saying we are all gods, I am open to going a little deeper into this subject matter. Pardon my ignorance. I'm always going to tell you people. If I don't know something, I'm not going to pretend I know something. I'm just going to tell you the truth. And if you have a question for me of a spiritual or metaphysical nature, especially one that I'll know how to answer, I encourage you to write me at TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAnnCompton.com. That's TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAnnCompton.com. And until then, I hope you have an awesome day wherever you are on the planet today. Bye guys.